Okay, so the first thing we'll do is download and install Node.js that comes uh, with its own package manager, NPM, that we'll need to install TypeScript globally on our computer. Now, we'll need the TypeScript compiler to compile our TypeScript code into JavaScript code that then browsers can use to render pages. So, as I already mentioned in the introduction video, Node.js is a cross-platform JavaScript runtime environment that executes JavaScript files and code on the server. Uh, before Node.js came along, JavaScript was mainly being used on the client side. Inside of the web browser, Node changed that. Um, it's mostly being used because of its asynchronous and non-blocking I.O. input and output model. Um, and it's designed to build scalable network applications. So that's sort of my spiel about Node.js. If you want more information on it, go ahead and navigate to nodejs.org and then click on the little docs uh, link here, which will bring you to the documentation page, which uh, will explain Node.js in detail. But for the purposes of this course, Let's download the long-term support version here, the one that's recommended for most users. And I already have it downloaded um, in my downloads folder, so I'll just open this up and I'll run the installer. And just go ahead and press through whatever the default prompt is. Um, and if you're on Windows, it should be similar. Just press next or continue or whatever it be. Okay, and now let's see if everything installed correctly. So what I like to do here um, on a Mac, I use this spotlight search feature, um, which you can bring up by pressing command and spacebar on your keyboard or simply by clicking the little magnifying glass here. Uh, and we will open up the terminal. So it, just, it essentially just opens up whatever application or file you're trying to uh, open. Uh, and if you're on Windows, the terminal is essentially the same thing as a command prompt. So for you, it would be start, run, CMD, I think. But essentially, just open up the command prompt application. All right, so the first thing we'll, we'll do inside of our terminal is see where we are. So to do that, type in PWD, which stands for Present Working Directory. And as you can see here, um, it, uh, it shows us the path name of the folder we're, we're in. So in this case, it's we're in the main uh, Sly users folder here. Now, I will navigate to my Salata folder by typing CD, which stands for change directory, and then whatever the folder name is. And in, in this case, it's Salata. And just to see what's in here, I don't think I have anything in here, but just to see if there's anything in here, press uh, type in LS, stands for list, so it lists out the, the, the content of whatever folder you're in. It doesn't seem like we have anything in here. I will go ahead and make a dummy sandbox directory that later on I can just simply delete. So to do that, type in MKDIR, which stands for make directory, and then whatever the name of the, the folder is. So I'll just call this sandbox. Okay, and then I'll, I'll navigate to it. Okay, and by the way, notice how every time we navigate to a new folder, like the the name of the folder where we're in, and it, it changes. So it changed from the little squiggly line, I think it's an epsilon, into Salada, and then it changed from Salada uh, to Sandbox, right? So now, now we're in the Sandbox uh, folder. Okay, so now let's see if Node and NPM installed correctly. And to do that, type in Node, space dash v. V stands for version. And it gives us the, the node version, which is 8.11.4, which is the same as what we had downloaded from the website. And um, NPM should have uh, installed along with node automatically. So let's check what the version of NPM is. So it's NPM space dash v for, for version, and it's 5.6.0. Okay, so it seems like we have node and NPM installed on our computer now. So let's go ahead 
and go to our TypeScript Lang.org website here and and uh, and click on the download button and since we're u using Node.js um, all we have to do to install it is just run this little line of of text here um, and all this is really is just it's using the npm tool to install globally TypeScript or you know whatever application this is so um, the little dash g flag here is just means that it'll install TypeScript globally on your operating system. So not just in the folder you're in, but it'll be available in whatever folder you're, you're, you're working out of. Okay, so let's copy this and paste it into our terminal. Okay, and it seems like we have a problem here. There's a warn and an error message it says check permissions. Oh, okay, so I think I know what's happening. So essentially, when you are installing a new application on Mac, it uh, it 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 requires you to have an administrator uh, account to be able to install a new application. I think it's the same in Windows. I'm not sure, but if you're on a Mac and if you are in the terminal, all you have to do is just uh type in sudo which stands for super user do I believe I'm not a hundred percent sure on that and type in that that line of of um, of, uh, of text npm install dash g typescript and then it asks for the administrator password okay and, and now it seems like it installed or it downloaded and installed correctly but just to make sure let's type in TSC stands for TypeScript compiler which is how we're actually invoking this application and then just again the the dash V flag for the for version and sure enough we we have the TypeScript version number here okay so now that we have node NPM and TypeScript installed let's just do a quick little um, test here so what we'll do is we'll create just a couple of lines of code in TypeScript to see if we can then use the TypeScript compiler to compile our TypeScript you know, application into a JavaScript uh, file. So let's just clear everything out here for extra space. And now what we'll do is we'll create a new file. So to create a file inside of the terminal, type in touch space whatever the name of the file is dot whatever the extension is and in our case it's hello world dot ts for typescript okay so now if you type in ls sure enough we we get the hello world dot ts file and but there's obviously nothing in there it's just a, a blank file at this point so what we'll have to do is we'll have to put a couple of lines of code in there now I will use this little Vim application that comes shipped with, or that ships with uh, with with Mac OS. Um, so it's Vim, and then you know the the file name, hello world.ts. Um, now if you are on a Windows, I'm not sure Vim comes uh, like it is available in Windows. So just open this up in Notepad, but just make sure to 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 save it in the same folder that that we're working out of. So, um, right, so here, uh, let's type in let hello world, and I'll explain this in just a second here. Uh, we will, uh, we will initiate this as a string, uh, and, uh, Okay, so just quickly, um, what these two lines of, of code mean is, um, first you have this hello world var variable here, and the way that we declare this variable is with the let keyword. Um, so for those of you that are familiar with with JavaScript, it's essentially the, the new way of, um, of writing var. And then, so, this is sort of where TypeScript comes into play is 
declaring an actual type on a variable. So in this instance, we're saying that hello world is a string type of a variable, and then we're initiating it with the hello world string. Okay, and then this line just it simply uh, just says that we we will print out whatever the contents of hello world is, right? So in this case, it's just hello world, okay? Um, now, um, if you don't understand all of this, that's fine. I will get into it more in, in subsequent videos. So if you're in Vim to escape um, from like the insert uh, mode here, what you have to do is press escape on your keyboard and then type in colon W for write and then Q for quit. So write is essentially like you're 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 saving this file. So you're you're writing the contents of this file into it. So it's um, and then Q is for quit. So you're quitting out of Vim. All right, and I think we should be all set. But let's just let's just go back and and make sure that that these lines of code are in there. Okay, and sure enough, we we have our two lines of code. So again, it would be escape, colon, and then in this case, it's just Q because you know we haven't changed anything. So we're just quitting out of Vim in this instance. Okay, so now that we have our TypeScript uh, file, what we'll do is we'll use our TSC compiler, our, our TypeScript compiler, to compile the, type, the hello world.ts file into hello world.js file. Okay, so it does its thing here, and it, and now if we're if we list um, the contents of this folder out, sure enough, we find that hello world JS is in there. Um, now, just very quickly, just to see what how it changed, what what the compiler actually compiled uh, our uh, hello world .ts into. Let's um, again go into Vim. And see what hello world.js actually is. So it actually changed it a bit. Um, notice how it changed the let hello world string into var hello world. So this is sort of the old JavaScript way of of writing um, of uh, of de of declaring and initiating a a variable. Okay, so let's quit quit out of that. So again, from Vim, it's escape colon Q and it seems like we're all set just to make sure that it runs we can just run it in, in our node environment and this is where node actually comes in handy just because we don't have to you know like put our our JavaScript into an HTML file we can just directly run our JavaScript files inside of our node environment so in this case it would just be node and then hello world.js and sure enough it it prints out the hello world string so that'll be it for this video um, I hope you enjoyed it and in, in the next video we will go through setting up our visual studio code um, it has a lot of funky features that I think you'll like so thank you for watching and please subscribe